Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is another addition to the acoustic series. In this video, we are going to discuss about loudspeaker. Loudspeaker is an important topic in acoustic simulations and today we are going to uncover few important details of acoustic loudspeaker. There is an application file already available in Comsol application library and we have taken that particular file for this video. Hence, my contribution in this video is to make you understand about the details of acoustic simulations so that if you are working with this kind of problem, then it will help you developing your problem. So let us initially go into the details of a loudspeaker. For that, I have taken few images which are widely available on internet. If you Google it, you will be getting those images. So this is a typical loudspeaker and the different parts of the loudspeakers are given here. So in a loudspeaker, the most important part is the voice coil and the voice coil is the one which vibrates under a low range force. Now this low range force is typically variable based on the signal it gets and based on the signal the vibration of the voice coil becomes different at different time step and this vibration actually goes to the diaphragm and the diaphragm is this cone and actually this diaphragm vibrates and generate typical sounds which we hear now where from this low range force originates so there is a magnet you can see this part is the magnet and this magnet is covered by an iron core so this particular part is the iron core and because of that the low range force typically acting in the z direction it actually helps to vibrate the voice coil and thereby the diaphragm so to model this particular thing we have to have acoustics which will take care of the vibrations we need to have magnetic physics that will take care of the generation of the low range force and again for the low range force we need to know the amount of current that is moving through the coil and finally we need to couple all those physics because this is this these are not independent all the physics are interdependent like the generation of the low range force is coming from the magnetic field and the current flow the vibration is coming from the solid mechanics and to calculate to estimate the acoustic vibration in the aerial space we need to have pressure acoustics so before I go to the COMSOL file, let me again tell you, let me show you the different parts of a loudspeaker. Again, this figure is taken from on from internet. So you can see this is called the pole piece and then it is the magnet. So the pole piece goes into the magnetic hole and this part is the plate magnet. This part is the plate. On, the, on top of the magnet we put this part and this parts are these are the coil and the winding so this is actually this is actually winding or the coil and this is called former so on on the former this coil are wrapped around and this part is called basket you have seen in a typical loudspeaker this is called spider the function of the spider is to guide this former and the voice coil so that it uh, when it vibrates it it should not be displaced and that spider gives the mechanical strength on the former and the voice coil this is the typical cone and this cone has the diaphragm so under the vibration this diaphragm actually vibrates and generate sounds this is the dust cap so you can see there are holes in order to protect the uh, inner part we have a dust cap and this is the surround so if you if you combine them together 
you will be getting a loudspeaker like this. So these are typical cut section of a loudspeaker. If you look at the cut section, so this is the former I have told on top of that the voice coil is wrapped up and this particular voice coil actually vibrates and this vibration reaches to the diaphragm. So this is the diaphragm and this part is the dust cap because there is a opening here just to protect it we have a dust cap here. So this is the magnet and this is the iron. So this magnet and this current coupled together to form the low range force and this low range force vibrates the particular voice coil and the former and it actually translates to the diaphragm. This is the surrounding cap. So this is typical cut section. Now we go to the console window and let us try to realize how exactly they have modeled it. So as I have mentioned, so this is the diagram or the figure they have created in COMSOL. So you can look into the steps. So there are various steps by which they have created it. I will briefly talk about it. If you just if you, if you just look into it thoroughly, you will understand how stepwise this kind of diagrams can be created. So let me make the yeah. Let me make the space little bit bigger so that we can see it properly. So this is the typical speaker, the cut section you can say. So this is the magnet, this is the iron core and this part is the former and the coil. This is the spider, this is the diaphragm and this, this has the air, this part has air. And this is the external space. So in order to model it, what they have done, initially they have created the geometry, if we quickly look into it. So initially what they have done, they have created the circle, they have used layers here and that's why you can see two concentric circles are there. And then they took another circle to create this particular part. They uh, they took a delete entity to delete the bottom part of the half circle and how this half circle they have created by taking 180 sector angle. All those things I have discussed in my geometry series. I will put the geometry series in the description box. If you go through those videos then you will be learning those steps and then they have created a rectangle for this particular part. This is the extended part. They might have taken a difference operator to neglect it. You can see by the difference they have removed this by the extended section. Then they have taken rectangle for this particular part where magnet and iron core everything is there. So they have also make use of the polygon to create the other kind of geometries. And they have also used quadratic one for making the uh, this is the dust cap and also the line segment so you can just look into each step you will be understanding how exactly they have created it now let us go to the magnetic field for the magnetic field they have chosen the entire space although in the entire space there are not magnet let me go to the material to see where exactly which material is located so if I go to the material section, I can see, so this part is air, soft iron, obviously this part, if you just correlate with this, so you can say this is the magnet, this is the iron or soft iron. Similarly here they have, so this is the soft iron, so then they have taken foam. So this part is foam, the coil, this particular part, if I zoom it, you can see. So the coil is uh, on top of the, uh, if I show you the diagram, so the coil is on top of the former and this is what they have taken here. 
so this is the coil so this green part is the former so this is the glass fiber which they have taken so this is the ferrite or the magnet so you can see this is the magnetic part if you can correlate with this diagram you can see yeah this part is the magnet similarly here this part is the magnet so they have defined all the materials properly uh, this is the cloth so we know the spider is made up of cloth so they have taken here the cloth material you can also go through the material properties now magnetic field they are solving this this bottom part that means this is the diaphragm below the diaphragm whatever is there they have taken under magnetic field it actually does not matter because in the material section we have defined which part is magnet which part which part is soft iron and which part is air so you can solve the magnetic field in this space but the actual magnetic intensity will lie here so i'll show you so they have taken ampere's law if you see in this part they have taken ampere's law but the most important section is the coil section because the most i mean most of the current flows through the coil and that's why that part is important for the ampere's law this is the ferrite or the magnet they have taken this part is the soft iron you can see and this part is the coil if you if i zoom it you can see yeah this particular part is coil very important because current will be flowing through it and there is a magnet it creates a magnetic field the current and magnetic field will create a lorentz force now where is the lorentz force calculated it is calculated in this multiphysics section if you can see the multiphysics couples the magnetic field and the solid mechanics magnetic field calculates the lorentz force and this lorentz force is supplied to the solid mechanics because under this load it vibrates so if i now go to the solid mechanics section you can see in solid mechanics they have solved this they have taken this particular section because initially the voice coil will vibrate so this part is the voice coil and this vibration will go to the spider as well as on the diaphragm and that is why it is important to take all the sections all these uh, parts in solid mechanics so linear elastic material all the materials they have taken as linear elastic materials they have taken the fixed constraint here now we go to the pressure acoustics in pressure acoustics they have taken the entire sections wherever there are air if you if i just zoom it you can see they have excluded the portions where there is no air because this part is the diaphragm there is no air if i zoom here also you can see the coil section is excluded so wherever there are air they have taken under this pressure acoustics in pressure acoustics again they have taken narrow acoustics one and narrow acoustics two because in this chan in this two narrow channel there are air and that is why to define it exclusively they have taken this narrow acoustics why this is important i will tell you after doing a literature search on it maybe in some upcoming video i'll talk about it and again this pressure acoustics is coupled with the if you see this coupling pressure acoustics is coupled with the solid mechanics so in a layman language in the solid mechanics the voice coil vibrates this vibration comes to the acoustics as an in input and it generates the oscillation or the pressure frequency and this pressure actually transmits to entire aerial space and it vibrates the air so in the pressure acoustics we will be calculating for the vibration of air and that air vibration translates to the diaphragm and ultimately diaphragm vibrates and we get sound so if i just show you the study they have taken different studies to solve magnetic field differently 
this is the complete model where they have solved everything that is frequency domain is used for this particular pressure acoustics for other they have taken a stationary studies so you can see when i go to the stationary you can see in the stationary they have they are solving for the magnetic field and the Lorentz force because magnetic field is a stationary physics in the frequency domain you can see they have taken all the physics together because ultimately in the frequency domain they are solving for the pressure acoustics and the pressure acoustics are coupled with all the physics that is why they have taken all the physics together so this is how you can actually model this loudspeaker i hope this particular video was helpful if my videos are helping you, kindly subscribe to our channel and also share those videos to your peers so that I get more motivation to upload videos.